In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to share files, folders and devices and things like that between Windows XP and Windows 7. Many of us now are buying the new updated operating system Windows 7 and we still want to utilize some of the, the, the pieces of kit that we have on our network even if they are a little bit older. So for example if you've just bought yourself a new Windows 7 laptop but you still have a Windows XP desktop PC with a printer attached and files that you want to transfer between the two um, this is a, a fairly simple way of how to do that. So first of all let's look at our Windows XP desktop um, and I guess the first thing I want to do then if I want to share some files between one PC and the other I'm going to go and click on the start button now and go into my computer and I'm going to double click the C drive and I'm going to make a folder under the C drive a new folder and I'm going to call this folder um, XP PC share that way I know that obviously this folder lives on my XP machine and I'll explain that a bit later when we go over to our Windows 7 machine so we don't get too confused with what file we're looking at on on what computer so we've created our XP PC share folder um, but we we still need to make it shareable on our network so I'm gonna right click that folder now and I'm gonna select sharing and security now up pops this box and the tab is already set on sharing um, so we're going to stay on that tab and we're going to share this folder on the network we're going to tick that box and as you can see the share name is as it was that I named it which is XP PC share which is all good uh, and we also want to allow network users to change my files so I'm going to click that box as well I'm going to click apply and OK now what you'll notice is a little hand has now appeared underneath that folder which indicates that this folder is now ready to be shared on the network but obviously if we go into it there's nothing in there so if I just move that to the side for a minute let's try this as a test I'm gonna go into my pictures I'm gonna pick up some of these sample pictures so let's grab three of those and we'll copy them in there so now we have three pictures in my XP PC share okay that's all good let's close these windows down now just before I do move on to Windows 7 to grab those files and also to put more files from Windows 7 in there so that the Windows XP machine can get them I'm going to show you how to share some devices as well so let's say for argument's sake on our Windows XP PC we have a printer connected and we'd like to share that as well so that we can print from our new Windows 7 laptop so let's go into the start button again and this time I'm going to go to control panel and I'm going to select printers and faxes and in there as we can see I have a printer it's called a Kaisera FS 1020D it's ready it's plugged into this uh, XP PC and I want to share it to enable me to be able to print to it from another PC like a Windows 7 PC so I'm going to right click that now and select sharing and I'm going to share this printer and the share name it's called it is Kaisera M that will do I know what it is I'm going to apply that and say OK and instantly we have our hand again underneath our printer indicating that it's now a shareable device on the network now it doesn't just stop there because many of us now are buying those little netbooks which don't come with CD-ROM drives and sometimes that can be a little bit awkward when we want to install software that we have on disk onto our netbook computers or it may be that maybe your CD-ROM's gone gone bad on, on, your, on your laptop computer we can also share if I go back to computer again um, I can share my CD-ROM drive so if I just right click there and sharing in security and it says here under sharing if you understand the risks but still want to share the root of this drive click here and again I can click share this folder on the network even though it's a, a, D, uh, a CD DVD drive share name as D allow network users to change my files same pretty much the same as we did with the folder we can apply that and say OK. So that's all done now pretty much for the Windows XP side. Ah I almost forgot 
Um, there is one more thing we need to do on our Windows XP PC and that is to find out what its computer name is and I'll explain why this is important when we get over to the Windows 7 PC but for now we're going to click start we're going to right click on my computer we're going to select properties and at the top here you can see there's a tab that says computer name if we click that it now shows me uh, my full computer name in my case is pertinax f 5648 c yours might be a series of numbers and letters uh, it could be anything now uh, for future you could actually change that if you wanted to by just clicking change here and you can rename your computer to whatever you want like Windows XP PC or Fred's XP PC or something like that it will require a reboot once you've done this but for the purposes now it's just important for us to take note of the current computer name we can do this at a later stage right so now let's head over to our Windows 7 PC here we are on our Windows 7 desktop and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the start button I'm going to click computer and as you can see I've got rather a busy network going on here but what we're interested in is on the left hand pane here I'm going to scroll all the way down uh, and we're going to select network and when I click network what it will show is all the devices or computers on my network and remember I told you to take note of your computer name well there's my Windows XP computer name it's pertinax f 5648 c now if I double click that it will show me everything that I have shared on that PC so remember we did the um, we did the XP PC share folder and if I go inside there though there are the three files that I put in there or rather the three pictures I can open them up I can flip through and if I want I can select them all drag them off and put them there I can delete them if I want and now they're gone from the folder in the Windows XP PC and if I wanted to I could select my pictures from my Windows 7 machine or a folder or documents and I can copy them straight to it and there you go so that's as easy as it is the other things that I, uh, I shared there was obviously the printer now in my case this printer is already installed on my Windows 7 PC but if you were to double click it it would ask you for the drivers to install it now again um, you may have them on a disk which you can just insert into your Windows 7 laptop uh, or PC and install the drivers when it asks for them or it may be a printer that Windows 7 currently holds the drivers for anyway so it may pick them up in either way there's uh, a way round to install your printer um, also is the uh, CD-ROM drive well, obviously there's no CD in it at the moment but if I was to put a CD in my Windows XP drive I could just run this as if it was another folder on the network so I could install programs from it and that basically is how easy it is I hope you found this interesting and thanks very much for watching.